Hey there, it's Mark. Welcome to Truckin' Moose Day. Yeah, that was bad. Milk truck, here we have Matchbox Div Code. This is the old fashioned milk truck. I'm going to check this out. I have a few other milk trucks or cow type designs that I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. This is part of their moving parts line. I think these are under about $2, under $2. They have opening parts. Hey, this one has an opening trunk. Well, actually opening rear doors, I believe. We're going to open it up. Take a look at the back real quick. Nothing on the back. Just a bunch of legal stuff. So this way it can be sold in multiple countries. Matchbox doesn't exactly have the liberty to make packages for English and then another one for international markets. As you can see, it's an official licensed product. I guess Ford Motor Company owns a trademark now. The small print above the Divco logo is the Detroit Industrial Vehicle Country. Company country. Jeez. Oh, I didn't even know what Divco stood for. Detroit Industrial Vehicle Company. Yeah, good to know. The card art shows the door open. Yeah, the side door's open. You can see through it, there's a door on the other side. We'll check that out. Another thing I was looking at, the crates in the back. I don't remember crates looking like that, but then again, I'm not quite that old. Nowadays, we get our milk either in cardboard or plastic jugs. On the base, I don't know if I showed you that Divco milk truck. We get them in uh, plastic jugs or maybe cardboard. Back then, they were in glass containers that could be washed and recycled and refilled. There you go. On the other side, there you go. It looks like it's the same, exactly the same. No opening features. Has a Matchbox logo under the blue stripe. It does say right there. There's the Divco, the Detroit Industrial, the, the Detroit Industrial Vehicle Company. Yep, exactly the same on the other side. I guess if you're driving around, you can leave the door open. Anyways, this does have the opening doors in the back. I noticed right away there's a couple little divots in the metal right here. You can see these divots. I wonder if those are to keep this way when the doors swing open. Maybe they'll stay in place. Wow, that opened very easily. I was expecting a little bit of a fight. You know what? Those divots are there, but the doors don't even the doors don't even slide into those spots. They swing open. Not much inside. Oh, they do have some. What is it? Oh, what is that? Is that a bug in there? I brought a light closer just for a moment. I don't know what that is. And let me see if I can get that out. It's almost like it's a dead bug or something. Well, I got it out. It's not a dead bug. It's like uh, some type of production material residue. No big deal. On the left side, it's hard for me to get the light on the inside. Uh, and the doors, they, they don't stay in place. They keep moving around. Anyways, on the right side, it's kind of hard to see, but there are milk crates. Hang on. Hey, I figured something out. If I cast some light through the windshield, it lights up through the cargo area. A little hard to see, but those are like, uh, you got milk crates in there and got some milk bottles. On the base, you see this MB1222. That's the casting number for this. 1222 will be this truck here. Divco truck, Matchbox trademark. 2019. Oh, it's copyrighted in 2019. Yeah, I think people found it in 2020. I didn't get this one, I think, until 2021, early 2021. Copyright 2019. And then there's the European legal information made in Thailand right here. And by the way, Thailand, they put this on the base. That's just a, a point of pride, so when they're building these, they can have pride in the work that they're doing in 20. That means it was produced the 20th week of 2020. That's what uh, in, in stands for 2020. Oh, guess what? Uh, that GKP, that kind of looks like it would be is it G or C. That kind of looks like it is a Mattel, another code for the model. Oh, so you'd like to see the other models on the side as well? 
the Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery. This is the first release, 1998 first edition. So if you have a dairy delivery, this will give you an idea of the size. This is a little bit uh, smaller. Let me get the bodies lined up in the back. So you can see the body comparison. The, the Matchbox Movie Parts, Divco, does have a bumper that sticks out. For a grill comparison, on the left is Matchbox, on the right, Dairy Delivery. The Dairy Delivery, as far as I know, is still not a licensed Divco model. It's just Mattel's custom design of a milk truck. On the rear, Mattel's version has a couple windows. You can see the doors outlined, but they do not open like the Matchbox version. Check it out, couple exhaust pipes. And that made me think about it. Let me check out the base again. And look at the base. It looks like uh, this is here. This one looks like it would be the muffler. And then when it comes back, here's the gas tank. By the way, Dairy Delivery did have a casting change. I believe these windows were changed in their size. Here's another milk truck. Got milk. This one is from Jada. This is their Div Cruiser. They just put D-I-V Cruiser. This, this one is definitely a custom rod. Let me put a couple models behind it. So this the black was disappearing into my black turntable. So this way you can better get an idea how it looks. The grill kind of resembles similar grills. And look at those fenders. Definitely customized fenders. The Jada version, they taper the body. It's uh, narrow in the front and it gets wider in the rear. Not a whole lot, but just enough to give it some style. On the rear, the Got Milk logo. Check it out, the extra decorations. You have light markers. You still have opening doors or doors and then windows. No moving or opening parts, except for the wheels. Duh. The graphics on the side got yourself a little cookie dunking it in the milk. Oh, I like how they did that two-tone design so the bottom would be milk. You're dunking your cookie in the milk and there's some splash. Very creative. Got milk. I don't know if they still use the logo, but during the 90s. I think it was started in the 90s. Yeah, it was a big thing. Got milk. This last sample, it's a Johnny Lightning model. It was part of their Surf Rod series. They've released it more than this. It's, it's just this one I'm showing you today. Because it has a cow pattern. I'm talking about milk trucks and stuff with cow pattern. It's kind of neat. By the way, this did, this did get released with a cow pattern design. I don't remember if this one did, but definitely the Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery. This one right here, they call this model the Meat Wagon, and I had to do some homework. And I don't remember knowing that Meat Wagon was slang for a hearse or an ambulance. I didn't know that. And this is based on a 1942 Packard 180 ambulance. Has the ambulance light, light, ambulance lights upstairs. Upstairs, jeez, we're all tongue tied. On top, I like how the pipes come out the side. Looking pretty good. Metal model, metal base, metal body. Johnny Lightning, you know they're adult collectibles. This one has plastic base. All of them have plastic. Wait, yeah, plastic base. All of them have plastic bases except for this Johnny Lightning model right here. There you go, four brands, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, and Jada Toys. What you got in your collection? Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.